Our project is uh, to work with BP. They're our client. Uh, and we need to help them with the oil spill and our oil and the ping pong ball. And we have to make uh, a four part de a four part device submersible that uh, will clean up the oil, which is the ping pong balls. E2 at MIT is a program offered by the Office of Engineering Outreach Programs, aiming to bring minority high school students to MIT to immerse them in hands-on projects for a week to see what can we accomplish in one week. Um, I'm insulating the motors I'm going to be using to be thrusters for our underwater robot. Through the support of Office of Naval Research, MIT Sea Grant was able to offer a course this year in underwater robotics. I think that uh, these have to be longer than the length. Right. This, uh, this is, so we're um, building an ROV. This is the centerpiece and there's going to be two arms going out. We're going to have cameras mounted on all three. So there's going to be a pipe going up and down and we're going to maneuver from a launch site um, to get our arms kind of around the pipe and then with three cameras pointing right at it we'll have like a view of all around. Day one students came in and they built the basic sea perch built. So they were given a manual and followed steps and really got their feet wet using the tools, using the materials. Then the next day they were given this, this mission. We are a consulting firm um, and our client BP has come to us asking for some sort of oil mitigation solution. So the students were asked to plan for cleaning up oil simulated by ping pong balls, but they weren't told how many or you know in, in what frequency this would happen. And so it was really great to see the students not only learning throughout the week, but on the final day tweaking things and changing and working together and discussing and figuring out things out as they came to them. Right now we're working on like kind of with a scoop and with ROVs we attach them. So we have to consider a lot of things like the buoyancy and the size of ping pong balls and up and down because like if like our first idea it didn't work as well because if we would go backwards and we had a container the ping pong balls would come out so this is our pretty solid idea right now. And so then on Friday we went over to the MIT pool to to test out what they had built and um, simulate a underwater oil spill. It's Friday, we're at the pool, so the students are doing their, their final event, testing out whether their strategy in their vehicles um, works for mitigating the oil spill and checking for problems in the oil pipe. It's called the Big Hug. It, it has this shape, and then the two ROVs are going to be attached to the, to, to the ropes, and it's, the ping pong, it's going to collect the ping pong balls, and then the two ROVs are going to come are going to come in and actually move the, the whole float system across and like hug the ping pong ball so they don't go anywhere. So there's a surface rig to simulate a drilling rig that floats on the surface, it's free floating and it's got a tower on it and when we start the scenario the tower will fall over and oil will spill out and fake fire will expand. So that's connected by a pipe to the bottom structure, and the bottom structure's got solenoids that deploy these mechanisms that will allow ping pong balls oil to rush up to the top so that we can simulate you know, an initial explosion on the surface rig and then oil pouring out from a, a leak on the bottom of the pipe throughout the scenario. And they'll keep track um, as they go how much oil, so each um, ping pong ball is a thousand barrels of oil. Uh -huh. And then eventually they'll recheck the pipe again and, and look for you know why this happened. And they'll see bubbles simulating oil pouring out of a hole. Um, at which point ping pong balls arise from the bottom of the pool and they'll have another disaster to mitigate. Alright, move back, move back. Back up, uh, red one, back up. 
So by the end of this, they'll realize that you got to prepare for lots of things because they don't know that there's going to be three different deployments of uh, ping pong oil. Something's a brewin. So be on alert. Be on alert. Adding E2 to our suite of programming really helps towards our mission of reaching minorities and helping inspire students who don't have the opportunities to experience engineering to learn what it is. So the more direct programming that, that we provide, the further along we get towards being able to bring a program to teachers and thus bring a program to schools nationwide. But this uh, program specifically challenged me in a way that I've never been challenged before and I'm loving every moment of it.